Megan is tied up in front of the camera to issue an official apology for researching and trapping Harry. Charles celebrates the return of his youngest son. Hello, friends. Welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. It has been discovered that Liz Hurley, a British actress who featured on the show The Royals, and Meghan Markle confessed to having a crush on one another in 2015. Although claiming to know very little about the royal family, before she met Prince Harry, the Duchess of Sussex stated on her recently unearthed blog, The Tig, which she maintained for several years, that she was interested in the drama that follows a fictitious British royal family. Liz Hurley plays Queen Helena, a queen consort who married into the royal family, but is left in shock when the soap opera-style drama starts when her oldest son and heir to the throne, Prince Robert, is slain. The show aired on E! in the U.S. In a 2015 article that suddenly surfaced on her now-defunct blog, Meghan, now 41, wrote of her affection for the actress and even did a little interview with her in advance of the royal drama. Megan's fascination with Liz and her apparent enthusiasm for the television series about a fake monarchy coincide with the Duchess's insistence that she only realized the British royal family was a huge thing after meeting Prince Harry. The Duchess stated that Liz Hurley was one of her all-time favorite actors in a 2015 piece on Meghan Markle's now-defunct blog, The Tig, which was just reappeared. She said that she had an in with Liz since she was slated to portray Queen Helena in the E! show The Royals, which features a fictional British royal family. The former Suits actress stated that before meeting her future husband, she understood virtually little about the British monarchy in the $100 million Netflix docuseries Meghan and Harry. Although the British monarchy was shown in a fictitious drama, some would claim that the Duchess would have learned something about how it functions through her interest in Liz Hurley's royal series. Meghan did not specifically state in her blog post if she had seen the drama or whether she intended to do so in the future, but she did write, Liz Hurley's suggestion that she is a tremendous admirer has always been something I have adored. The Duchess of Sussex, seen in October 2019, has stated several times that before meeting Prince Harry, she knew very little about the royal family. The Duchess disclosed that she had a connection to the British actress since the Royals was scheduled to premiere on the NBC Universal affiliated network E!, which also produced Meghan Markle's program, Suits. Meghan did not ask Liz any questions regarding the TV program or the royal family when she sent an email to her, despite the fact that the royal turmoil was her hook for a mini-interview with Liz. Instead, Liz told Meghan that she goes by the moniker Minx, adores vodka, and cannot live without her cuddly, giggly kid Damien. The Duchess was constantly maintained over the years that she hardly knew anything about the royal family before marrying into it. However, it is unclear from Meghan's blog if she learned much more about the royal family following her encounter with the actress portraying Queen Helena. In the Harry and Meghan documentary, she recalled her first encounter with Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, and said, Now I'm starting to realize this is a huge thing. Americans will get this. I mean, dinner and competition in middle of medieval times are planned. That's how it was. I made a curtsy as though to say, nice to meet you, your majesty. She continued by saying that Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank comforted her and that she had no idea what she was doing. The Duchess admitted in another episode of the series that she had to Google the British national anthem, God Save the Queen at the time, in order to learn how to sing it before attending any public engagements as a senior royal. Prior to the documentary, Meghan claimed she didn't grow up understanding much about the royal family and, in hindsight, believed she went into it all naively in the Duke and Duchess's explosive sit-down interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. She admitted to the TV mogul that she had not done any study into what it would entail to become a member of the royal family, adding, 
I never looked up my spouse online. Apparently, Megan's claims about her royal experience are completely untrue. She knew she stalked, trapped into marriage, played her cards, planned her escape to sell off her spying and secret recordings, plus lies and fabricated accusations of abuse long before she quit and hurried back to La La Land and Netflix to start the game, aided and abetted by her half-wit, sex-besotted, spare little boy prince, and so the greedy Hunger Games began. According to her former friends, whom she sheds like old toilet paper when they are no longer useful, she made a cult of studying the family and decided she was going to be queen. When she found that the job was held by a very competent lady and she was not even to be heiress to the title, she turned to plan B, try to copy Diana, Princess of Wales, despite the obvious deficiencies. It was not enough to manipulate the press and attack the family. Somehow she had to be lovable, though flawed. She only managed the flawed bit, and claiming to be keen on charities is not enough. You have to spend more than the odd 10 minutes with the photographer, taking over the results of others' work. And although she got the idea of spending huge sums of royal money on clothes, the fashion devotees do rather expect you to look good in them. No, Markle studied the royal family all right. She just didn't understand anything about them or the country. One British expert doubts. It has been reported that Meghan admired Lady Di, visited London and saw the outside of Buckingham Palace, and, of course, she worked in Canada, I believe for between five and seven years, depending on which comment to read. That being so, I find it remarkable that she knew nothing at all about the Canadian royal family, or that she could make her home in Canada without knowing anything about their head of state, especially as the Queen's image is on their dollar notes, or taking note of the media when either the Queen or Prince Charles visited, and Canada is the country most often visited by the royals. To live and work in a country for so long, yet remain totally ignorant about what their head of state and royal family shows an alarming amount of deliberate ignorance and lack of education in one who grew up in a country bordering on Canada's southernmost border. A rapid scan of Wikipedia showed 27 visits to Canada by members of the royal family in the eight years preceding her wedding to Prince Harry. To have ignored all those visits would show a remarkable amount of self-absorption, ignorance, and lack of interest in the country where you live and work. What do you think of Meghan Markle's dirty lies about royal memories before meeting Harry? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.